Crazy. Fly to a seat, uh, I gon' need a medic I can still fly, LV by my belly Don't be the kind, that I'm my pocket heavy I've money by my brain, keep the door away sand Talk out with the code that I serve, not the land Ice by my neck, that shine like a chain Now I thought money, man, I know what you're saying Big guy in hot, up to the stocks I want all the hood, I'm a not out of the app I'm flying like this, now I don't need a gas I'm up on the line, and we up on the map what's up guys welcome back malik here and today we're going to be looking into my two trades on the nasdaq 100 january 17. so one was a loser of 21 and the other was a winner of 153 so that basically helped me to recover from some of the losses during the week and i'll show you these so this one the first loss was a difference of about an hour so i'd entered on the opening candle to the buy side and then i got stopped out of the second candle over so so today was a wednesday right so here this is where i entered 850.54 let me actually move this to a long position so i entered a long position here i had my entry right about there Okay, that was my entry. Then my stop loss. Let me show you where my stop loss was. Okay. And you can see this was my entry. And then the next candle over is what I hit on my stop loss. I had a buy side trade simply there. 0 0.1. So it moved down $21. Are a little bit lower, so that's what knocked me out for 21. My max risk was around 20. It's it's a range because sometimes it can slip a little lower, right? The next one now I had entered to a sell side position. So after that knockout, I decided, all right, I'm gonna take another position, and if it hit, hits me out, but I'm not trading anymore, but I let it rock, I let it play out for the rest of the day, and then when we came closer to came closer to market close or actually a little after market open i decided to actually look at it it was up around 150 so i just closed it that's a nice risk to reward so i didn't i didn't feel like forcing it at that point that's pretty good i'm risking 20 dollars i made 150 so that's more than 5r on that trade which is what I ideally go for if I'm getting a daily move, right? So on this one, I entered at 16.829.84 to the downside, and I close it at 16.610. 16.610.39. So that's where I closed it. So you see, we had a pr big move down here, kind of came back up here, sell off again. So here, you could have made a lot more money. But this is where I sold it off. It was a nice risk to reward for me on a 0 0.07 profit of 153. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Something I'm looking into for tomorrow, actually. I don't know what can happen, but Taiwan semiconductors, they actually have earnings tomorrow at some point, right? So I'm probably going to play both sides. Just play both sides. Max risk around $200. And Maybe we can get a move, even though it's not really that, not really an earnings mover, like a big mover, but let's see what it can do. It's also a big chip maker, and a lot of the chip stocks have been moving a lot, such as Sox L. I haven't been looking at them a lot, but hearing a lot of craze from the, the ETH. Let's see on a daily. What has it in it? So the chip ETF has been bullish since then, but it hasn't been a sturdy bull move. So it's I wouldn't play this to be honest. AMD has been not even from Thursday. You've been bullish. It's so different playing stock, but stocks you still get a bullish bullish. bullish. Bearish, 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 oh. okay. But hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.